recorded way back in the mystical year of 2013. It's Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh boy. Who the hell's me is that? That's mine. That? <laughs> that is a... That's not Ryan. He looks way too happy. <laughs> there we go. Pick up the Wario face. Pick the Wario face. No. Okay. Sorry, okay. <laughs> All right, your night is showing off. <laughs> Uh, Super uh, Mario Galaxy 2. I uh, guess so you left in... Uh, Nani? What? <laughs> does that, thing, does that thing have a nose on its forehead? I don't know. <laughs> Nerd with all these anime me... me, me. So, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, the How long was it after Galaxy uh, 1? Two and a half years. Uh, two and a half cause, years? Because it was 2010, right? Yeah, two thousand. it was like yeah. early spring of 2010, whereas Galaxy was uh, winter 2007, so... Two and a half years after the original Super Mario Galaxy. Actually, fun fact, this wasn't originally going to be a sequel. It was going to be an expansion pack called, like, yeah. More Super Mario Galaxy. Su Super Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy More. <laughs> yeah, but you know, uh, the Wii um, wouldn't have been able to handle that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. I'm pretty sure they could fit it 300 in. 300-something megabytes of internal storage and any downloadable content that you that you run on the Wii has to fit that size because it has to be copied over to the console. Oh, no, it wasn't going to be DLC. It was just going to be a standalone disc that just had more in it. Uh, and Super Mario Galaxy more. Yeah. And for some yeah. reason, this game pretends that the first Galaxy just straight up didn't happen for some reason. Because Miyamoto thought the first game had too much story. <laughs> well, there's the thing. After the ending of the last game, it didn't happen. Yeah, it sort of um, had this this whole black hole reset thing, so who yeah. knows. We're talking Mario here, trying to string it all together. It's like the game retconned to... itself at the end of the game, remarkably similar to what his rival did in 2006. It's weird, though. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Mario Galaxy is a good game. Like, yes, Mario Galaxy is a fantastic I was just, game. I was just about to say, I was like, oh, though, that game, this game is good. <laughs> Although, if you consider that, though, uh, like, say, maybe the Lumas have some more memory of what previously happened than Mario does, it would explain why this particular Luma just jumped into Mario's hat like this. <laughs> So, food for thought there. The um, right. the thing about um, the thing about the overall Mario series canon though is that don't bother, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and on that note, Ryan, give us a plot summary. What's happening here? Peach baked us a cake, quote unquote, <laughs> and we're going to go get it. It actually is a cake, uh, as we'll find out during the credits. We actually physically see the cake this time. No, uh, we see the cake at the end of '64. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, the end credits thing. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, look! Now, Bowser's here's my giant! <laughs> this here's hasn't my happened question. before. <laughs> Here is my question. How could we not hear this going on outside the walls? Bowser was tiptoeing? I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, there goes Mario! I'm going crazy! Seriously. It's like, okay, it, you're on Shibuya, doing Shibuya things in Tokyo, right? And then you walk across the street, suddenly Godzilla! <laughs> <laughs> Turn the blind eye. You know, making Bowser big has never really worked for me, personally. Like, honestly, I think most of the uh, Bowser fights that are the most threatening are when he's, like, normal-sized, you know? Like, I don't get why they always need to make him super huge. It's happened, well, like, six times. Maybe this was their second attempt to do something with it after Sunshine. I think Sunshine was the first to make him huge. No, he w he got super big for the final boss of Paper Mario, Yoshi's Island. It happens again in New Super Mario Not Brothers. Not to this Wii, extent, though. In New Super Mario Brothers. You and... Uh, can, we just, I'm talk can, we just can we just agree that they should just use Giga Bowser at some point? <laughs> <laughs> that would oh, be man. pretty terrifying, especially when you consider the kind of mood whiplash you'd get having a kind of monstrous design that realistic looking. Well, that doesn't Mario. stop Kirby. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. That's often why Kirby final bosses are so impactful. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like well, to see Giga Bowser attempted in the original universe. Well, you know, uh, part of me wants that, but another part of me wants Mario to keep to his own particular tone, you know? Like, e even when he's doing weird things like in Sunshine, he mostly stays quirky the entire way through. 
and even the uh, quote unquote dark concepts like the, the the ghosts and stuff are cutesy and quirky and whatnot yeah i just personally what i love about galaxy one and to a lesser extent galaxy two because i have like i love this game it's a great game i have i'll have a, a handful of small issues that i'll bring up as we go but one thing i like about galaxy the galaxy games is this is the last time i think nintendo really tried to branch out with mario and it hasn't happened since ever since galaxy they've kind of regressed into very familiar uh, territory <laughs> every single time there is hints of a new mario game coming out everyone's wondering whether or not it's a galaxy 3 i don't want a galaxy 3 <laughs> though is is the but, yeah. the but but the galaxy series did leave a big impact on the series you know, yeah but that doesn't mean galaxy 3 should be the next step no that but means... it's what people want you know yeah people don't think well, about people don't want. know what they want no no <laughs> people don't think about what they want is, is all i'm saying like they know what they want but they don't necessarily know why they want it so they'll they'll simplify it by saying i want a sonic adventure 3 or i want a uh, super mario galaxy 3 it, it, but what they're really asking for is the same kind of you know feeling they got from those games yeah. not necessarily but, a retread. would you guys would you guys mind a galaxy 3 Maybe I'd, after they did something else first. I'd, I'd be, well, they did, 3D World. Well, I'd be more uh, amenable to a Galaxy 3, because I just prefer this kind of gameplay style, to say another new Super Mario Brothers or a 3D Land World-styled game. Uh, but, again, Oops. I... <laughs> oh. You died at the tutorial level, wow. <laughs> and you were doing some no. impressive speedrun shit earlier, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, um, yeah, the checkpoint system in Galaxy 2 is pretty goddamn generous. Yeah, it's the same kind of checkpoints that Galaxy 1 had, because I was actually... I've, I've, I've been playing Galaxy 1, you know, in preparation for this. Galaxy 1 has just about as many checkpoints as Galaxy 2, it's just in Galaxy 2 they're marked by the flag, so they're a little bit more obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Reaching more into that nostalgia, well, I see, but it's a... It's, it's not so egregious, I would say, in Galaxy 2's case, until we get to, like, the second half of the game. Well, you know, I, I like having marked checkpoints because it lets me know within the context of the level where I can start taking more risks, yeah. where I have to stop being as careful, you know? Okay. Uh, right. I forgot. Like, I saw that and I was like, are, are we fighting this boss again? Uh, but then it turned out to be something somewhat different. Well, Galaxy 2 does reuse a lot of concepts from Galaxy 1, like, obviously, but... Like, straight up, the yeah. entire levels are basically copied, but the game is mostly new content. Not not, not entire levels, but entire planetoids are well, copied, Well, there's a... Yeah. Um, there's, like, the, the one level I'm thinking of in particular is that one bit uh, with the, the thwomps and the, the cubes... Which is oh yeah, but that, that that was actually just one really long planetoid and a chunk of a larger level in the first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it's, it's like mostly this, unchanged. Despite <laughs> what Galaxy Two started as an expansion, at the end of the day, even when they added more and more to it, it's still, by definition, an expansion. It's it's about you know well, you mean? could say that about a lot of different. You could say that Ga Mega Man Two is an expansion of Mega Man One. In a lot yeah, of but you too. can't. But can you say the same? Uh, from Sunshine to 64. Uh, Can you say the same from 3D World to Galaxy? You mm. know, Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2 are so identical in core mechanics, granted, that when you make a sequel use, utilizing most, if not all, of the same things, it, it goes by expansion more than just outright sequel. Yeah, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a sequel uh, more along the lines of Oddworld Abe's Exodus than, you know, um, uh, a more involved sequel. It's, it's, it's more like, um, well, well, Abe's Exodus was a sequel that was not originally planned. The publishers just wanted another game in the Oddworld series by the next holiday season. So what they essentially did was they took what they had and they made another game using exactly what they had and they fine-tuned some of the mechanics along the way, like the checkpoint system. Um, yeah. Ah... It's for that reason that I often tell people, if you're thinking of playing the Galaxy series, don't play one right after the other. Oh, uh, no, yeah. you'll get you'll get exhausted. Um, because it is essentially a 480-star adventure, <laughs> if you combine <laughs> both of the yes, games together. It, um... uh, but that said, you can start anywhere with, yeah. with either of them. Yeah. But, thou, but thou must. 
Yeah, the, uh, the, the question of which one you want to start with comes down to a couple different questions. Like, would you rather have the game that has a little bit more story? <laughs> yes, and that's right. Um, but, uh, and also, level structure in general in Mario Galaxy 2 is a lot more arcade-paced. There's, there's more emphasis on getting from point A to point B than there is an explora in exploration. There are still some of those exploration levels. The um, the beach level with the with the uh, Piantas comes to mind. But um, uh, I, I prefer Galaxy Two over Galaxy One for a lot of little things. Well, yeah. but I can still you know say hey you know what you should still play Galaxy One. Uh, I, I you know I I know I'm in the the other camp for a lot of things. I generally prefer Galaxy One to Galaxy Two in a lot of reasons. One of which I hate Lubba and I hate this goddamn starship. Oh my god, Blubba <laughs> is... I hate him, he's obnoxious. Also, we have a starship... What do you mean he's obnoxious? He Ted, makes, he makes he's, puns, just he's like He's really you. an extension of yourself, Ted. Okay, I'm also not a fat purple fuck. Okay. Ted, Ted, okay, also, Blubba is your shadow. He's the true self. <laughs> also, we're in a spaceship, which is the size of a planet that we normally jump across in Galaxy games. Why can't we just drive this thing through the levels? And just jump <laughs> off, grab the star, and head to the next one? Okay, I know it's a goddamn video game, so shut up about that, but... That's always bothered me. It's just like, okay. <laughs> Why yeah. doesn't Mega Man just warp to the boss room? Yeah, yeah, I will say the common observatory as a framing device for the entire adventure felt more thoughtful. And it felt like it fit in more with the game world. I also, but, just, uh, I also just generally prefer the, the uh, what's it called? The kind of uh, terminal um, Thing that they the had common going. Observatory. Yeah, and the common observatory, just the way that they that they ran things, where you got each dome, and each dome had a bunch of levels in it that you could do in whatever order you want. No matter what in Galaxy 2, uh, you have to do certain levels in order to get to the end. And which I it makes the game an, an awful lot more linear. Because in Galaxy, if you wanted to, like you could play every level in a row in a certain dome, and then skip an entire dome, go straight to the boss, and go to the next one. And it was a lot more freeform in that way, which I think fits this kind of gameplay style a lot better than he, like I'm okay with like having a world map and going straight from level to level in something more like like 3D World or 3D Land or a 2D Mario game where, you know, it is just a straight uh, point A to point B kind of affair, because, you know, that's the, that's, it, the map system kind of fits the gameplay in the regular levels, but here, even though the levels in Galaxy 2 are a lot more straightforward and linear than in Galaxy 1, there's still, um, like, two or three stars per world, so it just, it doesn't quite fit for me. Granted, this is a small nitpick, because the levels and not the way you get to the levels are the important thing in a Mario game, but... It's just, you know, it's a small thing, but it still kind of bothers me. Yeah, I get you. The, uh, I, 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 I just overall, I tend to prefer this kind of linear platforming design to, um, to the more open form Mario 3D design that we've had up until this point. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, I can get that. That's a preference thing. Growing up with an N64, I tend to prefer <laughs> more open stuff, but... <laughs> yeah, it really does come down to that because I grew up with fucking Crash Bandicoot, which was a hallway game. Um, but uh, yeah, I just um, I prefer quickly and smoothly uh, traversing obstacles to get to an objective, to uh, running around exploring and solving puzzles. When it comes to platformers specifically, uh, when I think of exploration and puzzle solving, I tend to lean more toward genres like uh, action RPG. Um, Zelda games and whatnot. Yeah. Well, what about you, Ryan? I mean, uh, I, do you prefer... Well, I know he uh, likes Galaxy 2 more than Galaxy 1, because yeah. he's wrong! It, it really... It just depends on the game, really, because you know how I feel about Super Mario 64, although that may be a bit of nostalgia talking. Um... As far as platformers go, I do generally prefer more straightforward A to B sort of things, because they're very simple by design, so if you let the player kind of just roam around at their leisure, you're going to find very easy ways to kind of break it. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, that, that's we're part is, of the fun. Well, it, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, something like this, it's a bit more straightforward, and I can just, you know, run through it more, more enjoyably. 
And I will yeah, say it that, doesn't, that it doesn't require much of the player to get into. It's yeah. I will say that when it comes to just, you know, hop and bop 3D platforming, Galaxy 2 does have some fantastic level design. So I don't yeah. I don't just cuz I said that I like Galaxy 1 two more doesn't mean I hate Galaxy 2. I know that Can't we like both? No. No, we can't. <laughs> one has to be better, <laughs> which means the other one sucks. Man, Duh. if you said that to the Final Fantasy fan base in the middle of one of their <laughs> endless arguments over whether old school Final Fantasy or new school Final Fantasy is better, uh, they would uh, they would they would physically lift you up and chuck you out the window. Hey Ryan, so we can do co-star mode. Don't you have a friend to play with you? <laughs> the meal's busy, damn it. <laughs> co-star mode. Ah, oh, jeez. Talk about things I don't like about this game. <laughs>